Hello everyone, welcome to Technology Begins. In this video, we will see the Coder Byte challenge question, which is Python age counting. So, as you can see, here is the definition of that uh, challenge. So, what our definition is trying to say is we have to uh, get the data from this link, which is uh, available inside of our definition, and we need to perform the get request using the Python code, and we have to count the age which have the age greater than or equal to 50 okay and in that particular data there is a key is equal to string and age is equal to integer data type datas are available so let's see how we can write the code so we can get the age which is greater than or equal to 50 so here you will see in your uh, editor or in the coder byte challenge this code are available for you and you have to uh, see what data is available inside of this whenever i am printing this result.json then you will see the data from which is fetched from this link okay So as you can see here is the data is fetched from this link and we have performed the get request using the request package so here you can see the data key is available inside of the response and we have to see this data and find the age which is greater than or equal to 50 we need to print the counts of them that right so how we can do that so for that we can do like this first of all we got this json data and from json we need to take only data so we have uh, take the data from this response dictionary and after that this is the string inside of the data value right this is whole string is available inside of this data value so what we will do is we need to convert this into the list first so for that i will split by comma so each and every this key and age will be separated by comma and it will be the individual item of the list okay so let's see how that data will look like uh, let me print this and you will get the idea so as you can see this uh, each and every key and age values are the individual items of this list and now what we have to do is we have to perform the for loop and find the only the key which is age and only the age which having the value greater than or equal to 50 so for data in response data and after that we have to take another variable and we can put inside of that and we have to check if this key is keys name is key or key name is age okay so don't confuse between key because here name itself is a key that's why so we are separating each and every element inside of the list by uh, equal to so we are splitting that particular item by equal to so we will get the key name and the value okay so after that we need to check the condition if split data of zero okay whenever we are splitting this particular item then we will get this right one is key and one is qta 1a as a value so this zero is our key name that key name and we must need to put strip why strip because there is a space is uh, above of the particular item as you can see here is the space is available 
for in that particular item so we need to remove that so that's why we have used this strip and we need to check if this key name is age and we need to check value is and we need to convert this into the integer because here everything is in the string that's why and after that we need to check if that is greater than or equal to 50 or not okay and after that we need to put count if that key name is age and so i have taken the count variable 0 and i have incrementing increment the count variable when the key name is age and that age having the value greater than or equal to 50 then and only we will count that element of the list otherwise not and we need to simply print count and now we need to remove this let's clear our output and let's see what happened so here is our answer is 128 so this is your challenge answer and you can use this code as a challenge code and you will uh, check your answer and your answer will be right i hope you have understood the uh, concept of this challenge and how we can write the code for this challenge thank you if you like this video then please like comment and share if you haven't subscribed my channel yet then please subscribe my channel and don't forget to click on bell icon so you will never miss the new update from us thank you